just start with the quiz. What connects these two women? Beatrice Hill Tinsley, Professor Dame Juliet Jarrett. Question two, who is Ernest Rutherford? How many of you found question two the easiest? Kia I'm Sophie Ainson. I'm year eight at Southland Girls High School. The issue I wish to address is the need for more mentors for girls in science. NanoGirl, Dr. Michelle Dickinson, stated that studies show children make up their minds about liking or disliking science by the time they're 12. A Forbes article reported that one of the most significant factors contributing to the gender gap in STEM is a lack of exposure to role models. In order to address inequality, we need mentors to unlock our future. After watching our school's Fair Go episode on getting more women into the space industry, the US Embassy arranged for three NASA interns to visit my school. Empowering, inspirational, motivational were three words the students used to describe the presentation. These mentors unlocked a future we had never considered. Annika was a 14-year-old in America who had a science project to find a treatment for influenza. However, as COVID spread, she and a mentor changed focus and identified a molecule that could inhibit coronavirus. A second important point why mentors are essential is that we have sustainable development goals to achieve by 2030. Mentors can support us to unlock science information needed to understand the global issues and by doing this inform us better on how we can achieve these goals. Therefore, key actions Parliament can take is providing a science mentor to all schools with their 7 to 10 students. We already have a Prime Minister's Future Science Prize, but to extend this into scholarships that provide a mentor to help and support access to further study. To conclude the answer to question one was both women are linked to science. Beatrice was a cosmologist and Professor Dame Juliet Gerard is New Zealand's first female chief scientist for the Prime Minister. With more mentors within science, we will be unlocking diversity and innovation. As Marie Curie quotes, we cannot hope to build a better world without improving the individual.